here at Unibin International Christian Center for Prayer for the Nations. My name is Pastor Flores Lyman. I welcome you to the Hour of Prayer for the Nations. We are ever you are joining us from. I welcome you. Brothers and sisters, it's yet another time to pray. Kindly please spare us 15 minutes of your time so that we can all pray together. Also, please do feel free to share this prayer with your loved ones and any other person because we all need to pray hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord we bless god for his goodness we bless him for his kindness for all he has done and for all he continues to do amen praise the lord well as we can all see today our title for today's prayer is Weeping May Endure for the Night. Weeping endures for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. Weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. What have you been crying for 24-7, day in, day out? What is that thing that has troubled us? What is that thing that has stolen our joy? What is that thing that has become a hindrance, that has refused to quit, that has refused to subdue, that has refused to be solved, that is causing you weep constantly? Oh, I have good news for you, brothers and sisters. According to the word of God, which is in Psalms 30, verse 5, it says, That weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. It means no matter that situation, it might feel like, oh, somebody might be saying, oh, but really, mine is not for a night. Yes, when the scripture says for it, it just means you go through that particular situation, you know, for a season. The season might be long. The season might be short. Everybody's own is different. I will be lying to you if I say to you, your season and my season is the same. No, <laughs> not at all. But what I know, the Bible says it will not last forever. It can change easily. We've seen situations change just like that. Just like that. When the, when the mother was crying for her one and only son and Jesus encountered them when they were on the way to do the burial, Jesus looked at this woman the way she was crying and Jesus had compassion on the woman. Oh, and immediately Jesus touched that coffin. I could just imagine the scenario. But the boy was brought back to life. Same scenarios, we can mention many. Remember when Mary went looking for Jesus when Lazarus was dead. And they said, oh, Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. And Jesus, by his resurrection power, raised Lazarus from the dead. Oh, <laughs> Lazarus was already in his death and stinking stage. Most of us, some situations we are going through right now, 
even we ourselves we have we have described it as never changing mm, unending yes Weeping endures for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Ah, Monday, Shkarabu, Sik, and da ba ba ba. What are you weeping for? Are you a woman that's been tormented like Hannah, that you don't have children? Are you a man suffering from low spam counts and you're going through provocation? Joy comes in the morning. Woo! And that joy can be in the form of anything. Anything that the Lord is going to cause that breakthrough to happen and gives you that joy of dancing. You turn my morning into dancing again. You lifted my sorrow. Hallelujah. He's able to lift up that sorrow immediately. He's able to lift up that sorrow after some time, after some processes have been, have been gone through. He only knows. Let's look at our scripture in Psalms 30. Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalms 30 says, for his anger, Psalms 30 verse 5, says for his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Ooh, that's the word of God. What can compare unto the favor? What can compare unto the grace of God? What can compare? Now it now goes to say, weeping may stay for a night. Some translation says endure. It said, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Rejoicing replaces joy. Rejoicing comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. That situation is going to turn. The Bible says, when he turns over the captivity of Zion, they will be like those that dreamt. <laughs> Have you seen when a, a, a woman goes to 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 into the labor world and the next moment the, the, the baby is out. Some women have to go through prolonged labor. You know, the processes are different, but then the pain, all of a sudden the pain subsides, you know, unless there are other issues that comes up. Or in most cases, it's like you forget about all that pain that you went through carrying that child for nine months, all the morning sickness, all the, the you know, going back and forth to hospital. Because like I said, the process is different for each and every woman. Well, the next thing, you know, um, some women will go, I'm not having any more, I'm not having any more. A few months down the line, they are carrying the next baby. You know, it's like they've forgotten about all the pain. That's how God is able to turn things around so that we don't remember our pain. Even when you remember some of your pains, don't you just smile? You are like, wow, I can't believe I came out from that. That's what the word of God says. That pain, that weeping, that sorrow, it will not last forever. In the name of Jesus, I want us to go into prayer. What is your pain? What is your sorrow? What has stolen your joy? What has stolen your peace? The word of God, the Bible says the word of God that has been spoken will not return to him void. I encourage us to believe. I encourage us to hold on to the word until we experience the manifestation in that situation. The Bible says it, it, it lasts only a moment. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Weeping and Dios for a night, but rejoicing. Joy comes in the morning. Father, this virus, this virus, this virus. Ah, this virus nearly took over. This virus nearly took over. But Father, you're bringing back joy. You are restoring joy. You are restoring the joy in people's businesses. You are restoring the joy in the lives of our children going back to school. You are restoring the joy in homes, relationships that we are suffering during this, 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 this pandemic. Father, you are restoring back the joy in nations, the joy in the hospitals, in the lives of the doctors and the nurses, the carers. In the name of Jesus, regardless of the stress, oh God, despite the stress, you're restoring the joy. In Jesus' name, Father, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Father, that woman that was trusting you for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for restoring their joy like you restored Hannah's joy. Ha! <laughs> 
person that was trusting you for healing in their bodies. Father, thank you for restoring our joy in the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation is, immigration situation, you have cried 24 7. Solicitors have eaten your money, fake solicitors. I pray that your joy be restored at the answer of the home office in the name of Jesus. And your joy be restored as a parent you've been crying over your child oh you just thought all is lost that you will not see you will not reap the fruit of your labor i pray and i declare and i declare that you will hold on to the word of god be made manifest in your life that your joy be restored in the name of jesus father many that are trusting you to fix their marriages to fix relationships you have a joy has been stolen you have a joy has disappeared for months and years you are the restorer of the breach, oh God. You are the one that raised the foundations of generations that have been broken. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for restoring joy. Thank you for restoring joy on all fronts. In the name of Jesus, Ooh. we give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Hey, oh, ho, 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 ho. Restore unto us the joy of salvation. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Hey, the Bible says your peace that passes all understanding. May we experience it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory as we honor you, God. Be thou glorified, Father, be thou magnified. Lord, be thou highly exalted. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Oh, wow. Our time has been fast spent. Once again, I want to remind us of the series that we have on. Still, we are on week 35 or so. Discover, develop, and deploy. The beauty about this is that if you've missed out and you want to source out any of the series so far, you can go back. On our Facebook page, you can go into the archives. We are also on YouTube. You can locate us there, your NICC. And please remember to subscribe and share the message onto others. You just don't know who you might be delivering. So every Sunday between 12.30 and 2, if you're free to partake in the series, please do so. Once again, I want to remind us about the prayer guide that we have set up in case, you know, for those of you who are, who are struggling, sometimes you don't know how to locate scriptures. Brothers and sisters, this is here. It is free. You don't need to be running after men and women of God to give you scriptures. Scriptures have been put together. We need to be disciplined to open the scriptures ourselves to read them. Please, let us free partake in it hallelujah and i want to remind us all that this is our season to prosper oh yes indeed it is your season and my season to prosper brothers and sisters as we continue the rest of our week i pray that the lord will prosper the works of our hands in jesus name amen God bless you. Thank you all so very much. I'm going to leave us now with the rest of the announcement. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank God for everything. And thank you. Thank God for everything. And thank you for joining us today. Now here is your opportunity to give towards NICC and our ministry activities. As you can see, there's a budget shortfall for this year. However, your donations are making a difference. Here is our account number, which is 836-937-40, sort code 20. 8915. And you can also give to us via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash NICC giving. You can also give towards our senior pastor, Pastor Bumitokon, via PayPal at paypal.me forward slash Pastor Bumitokon. Now, you will agree with me that we live in a broken world and all the attempts that we make to try and escape it, they generally fail. But when God created the world, he created it out of love, that we may experience his love. But sin came in 
and landed us in this broken world. However, God being so good has sent his son, Jesus Christ, so that we may experience God's purpose, God's plan, and God's power, even in a broken world. Now, if you have made the decision to follow Jesus, please let us know so that we can help you in your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Please remember that we have prayer for the nations from Monday to Saturday, from 12 noon to 12.15 GMT. And let me remind you that this is your season to prosper. Yes, your season to prosper.